let's apply it to study uh, the global asymptotic stability of a few systems. Here we have a nonlinear system and the equilibrium points uh, for this system can be easily computed by substituting all the derivatives to be equal to zero. And uh, by solving these equations, uh, we have uh, these equilibrium points. The equilibrium point is at origin. Only this point, this point zero zero can satisfy this equation. So this is uh, the only equilibrium point in this uh, system. We take uh, a Lyapunov function, candidate Lyapunov function, and uh, since we are studying the global asymptotic stability, so this should be radially unbounded. So we have taken a positive definite function which is radially unbounded. And now we compute the derivative of this function along system trajectories and that derivative uh, can be easily computed uh, which finally comes out uh, is given by this expression. So, uh, what is this function? Is it negative definite? Negative. Yes, it is negative definite uh, because this term, uh, this, uh, this factor is positive, this factor is also positive. So, here is a negative sign. V dot is less than zero, uh, which is negative definite. Hence, the equilibrium point uh, at origin is globally asymptotically stable. In other example, we have this nonlinear system. Uh, to find the equilibrium point for this system, we substitute all the derivatives to be equal to zero. And now you can easily solve uh, these algebraic equations. And uh, we have uh, uh, this thing, which means that, uh, which means uh, this thing. And uh, finally, uh, we have uh, these equilibrium points for this system. So, what do you think about global asymptotic stability? No. So, uh, there are multiple equilibrium points. Therefore, uh, the equilibrium points cannot be globally asymptotically stable. We need not to make any further computations. In other system, uh, given by these uh, nonlinear differential equations, state equations, and the equilibrium points can be easily determined. Uh, so, here is an equilibrium point for uh, this system. To determine uh, global asymptotic stability, we need to take uh, some uh, candidate Lyapunov function and uh, the candidate Lyapunov function should be positive definite and also readily unbounded. This function is uh, readily unbounded. We compute the derivative of this function along system trajectories and uh, then uh, substitute x1 dot and x2 dot from these equations to get this expression and uh, after some uh, simplifications v dot is given by this expression. Uh, so what is conclusion? This uh, v dot is negative definite and what about uh, stability of this equilibrium point is globally asymptotically stable globally asymptotically stable that is uh, all the initial conditions corresponding to all initial conditions trajectories will finally converge to this equilibrium point is that clear uh, so there is one uh, uh, difficulty in this uh, Lyapunov theory that is how to find the candidate Lyapunov function that is a di difficult task and in the next lecture we shall uh, study some guidelines which can be utilized to uh, select a candidate Lyapunov function.